Hello, magical butterfly. Happy Witchy Wednesday. On Wednesdays on my YouTube channel, I'm going to do a video for like witchy vibes, magic, anything that I just feel called to do. So this week's is going to be an energy reading for what is brewing when it comes to love. So this is going to be a general collective reading. So I want you to sit back, relax, close your eyes if you feel guided to, allowing the messages to come forth as they're supposed to, as spirit intends, taking only what speaks directly to your soul and releasing what doesn't. So what is brewing in love for the collective, for the viewer? What can you tell us, spirit? Spirit guides, ancestors, angels, what is brewing when it comes to love for the viewer, for the collective? What can you tell us, please? Okay, so the first card we have is the Ten of Pentacles. So pentacles is earth energy. So this represents something is brewing physically in the 3D in your life. The number 10 is about a new cycle starting. You see in the background behind the dog, there is a couple. And there's also a golden retriever. So a dog is a symbol of loyalty and companion. There's a baby. So this could mean that you have a spirit baby around you or you are going to be having a baby with this person who is coming in. The older man on the card shows me this is um, a spirit guide, a male spirit guide. It could be someone who has passed on, who was like a father or grandfather or just some type of authority male figure in your life who is now part of your spirit team. So you have something new brewing in your life when it comes to love. So it's going to be different for everyone. The baby can also just represent birth and transformation. Something new coming in. It could also represent an inner child wound that has been healed. So let's get a clarifier to this Ten of Pentacles this new cycle that is starting for you in the 3D. So we have the Raven Spirit. The message on this card is don't allow, don't allow yourself to be too revealing. Always stay a mystery. Let your magical, mysterious ways trigger their curiosity about you. The raven spirit will keep them wanting to know more. So the raven, I'm feeling the third eye raven, seeing um, Bran from Game of Thrones. And what I'm really feeling with this card is when you listen to your intuition and you don't over reveal which means if in the past you always tried to control the situation or you chased spirits telling you you don't have to chase anymore you will never have to chase anything that is meant for you it's like the affirmation i always say i don't chase i simply attract what wants me by being me so you have someone coming in they're telling you to trust your intuition they're telling you to trust what you know to be true when it comes to your spirit. So trusting your intuition, trusting what you completely feel inside is going to bring in a powerful change. So you have something new brewing in the, the 3D physical world. So what do you want to tell us, spirit? So you have found the strength, and I'm hearing you have found the strength to move on. 
So strength is Leo energy. You could be a Leo. The person coming in could be a Leo. This is sun, moon, or rising. But what I feel is that if you were very much in your masculine energy, you have shifted into your feminine energy. And that is bringing in the infinity symbol, the number eight, the abundance number. And that is confirming that you gave yourself so much TLC that you are being called to help empower someone in need of your knowledge and love. This person could be close to you or be a total stranger. Whoever they may be, place your witch hat upon them and start empowering. So what I'm feeling with this card is that you have found the strength to heal yourself. You have found the strength to love yourself and you are going to show this person the true meaning of self-love and unconditional love and you are going to show them the importance of taking care of themselves, putting themselves first, always taking time to have those me days and you're going to share everything that you have learned on your healing journey with this person. So what else do you want them to know, Spirit? So the Seven of Cups shows me there's seven different ways this person can come in. So Spirit has a plan. Spirit has it all figured out. So they want you to just know there's seven different ways that this person is going to come into your life. Don't try to guess it. Don't try to envision it and don't try to manifest it in the sense where you start trying to figure out timing place putting attachment expectation they're just saying forget all that because love on fire tells me that love is on the way so someone you share a passionate connection with is still holding on to the fire and love as long as they keep the fire burning they continue to have you under their passionate spell. So this card represents the fact that you have somebody new coming in. So this could be somebody that you've never met. For some of you, this could be somebody from your past where they're going to feel like a brand new person, but love is on the way. Love on fire is telling me that you are going to be able to just really decipher what is for you so this person is not going to play games this person is going to be for real so i want to pull the bottom and tops of each deck to get you final messages okay so First, we have the Ace of Swords. So the Ace of Swords shows me there is a, an offer coming in and this person is going to communicate it. They are going to tell you that they want to take you out. They're going to be very communicative. They're going to not be afraid to tell you how they feel about you. They're going to trust you with their personal secrets because you know that no one needs to know how you hold yourself together how you run things personally is no one's business, especially when it comes to your energy and how you keep up. So they're going to be very intrigued by you on how you take care of yourself. And they're just going to see you as a safe space, a safe haven to be able to share personal details with, because they're going to see you as a trustworthy person because this person has had a deep shadow side healing. So they have had a lot of people around them who were not trustworthy, who were not on the up and up, and they are now seeing the light. So they are wanting to manifest something real, something very beautiful. Because they understand with bleeding love how important letting go of the past is. So the message on this card is, you know there's a love that needs to be let go of. Thinking about it hurts your soul to the max. Holding on will only make you bleed out. Save yourself before it's too late. So 
this person is letting go of a past love or just letting go of their past, then I feel you are too. You both don't want to bleed love. You both want to become love. So there's a full moon on this card. So the past full moon that we had really helped the two of you just envision what you want to be able to release, to be able to let go, and to be able to be in a better state of acceptance and being in a better state of allowing because that's where you're going to manifest from. You're going to manifest from allowing, allowing to receive, allowing to give, allowing to trust the universe, allowing the universe to say, hey, we have seven different ways this person is going to come into your life, but this person is going to come into your life. Do you believe it? Do you trust it? Do you want it? And that's when you're going to have to match your energy to that vibration. And that's when you become a vibrational match. So what's brewing in love, you have a new cycle starting, you have a new love coming in. It's going to be a physical 3D connection. It's not going to be somebody that's in and out of your life, that ghosts you, that's hot and cold, where you have to always go outside of yourself or more into the 5D. Everything is going to be crystal clear in the 3D. So I do hope that this witchy... Wednesday energy reading on what's brewing in love has brought you clarity and guidance. If it did, drop a comment below to let me know. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And if you are subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. Make sure you have the bell notification set so you can be notified when new content is posted on my channel. If you are interested in booking with me, you can go to my main booking website, which is butterflyintuition.com. I have a variety of services that you can choose from. I offer Instagram story readings. You book an Instagram story reading. I have three different kinds. You book it and then I post it in my Instagram story on my Instagram page at Butterfly Intuition. I will anonymously tag you so nobody will see your handle on it. That reading will be available in my story for 24 hours. If you want something more intimate that other people are not going to see, you can book one of my pre-recorded readings, a healing session. If you want to jump on a Zoom call one-on-one -on -one with me, I offer a Butterfly Intuition live reading. You can also do coaching sessions for Twin Flame and Awaken the Divine Feminine. I also have live soul activations that you can book where I will lead you through an activation of the chakra or chakras and guide you through a guided meditation based on what you need to work on. I also offer Enchanted Butterfly Reiki sessions. I have packages available, the Transition Method, the Love Manifestation Package. I also offer each month a free New Moon and Full Moon Healing Energy Session. It's a two-hour session uh, via Zoom. You can sign up for free. I always have the sessions listed on my website each month. March isn't up just yet. I'm recording this on February 27th, but in the next day or so, they will be up. Um, you can go to my website, butterflyintuition.com, and sign up for my email list. And I usually announce on there first before I post on social media when anything is available, when I announce a sale. And I send channeled newsletters, messages. Just um, I write a blog. All of that gets sent to my email list if you're interested. Um, you can also go to the description box below to get the link to my website, see my full list of services, and all the ways you can connect with me outside of YouTube. Thank you for being here. Have a magical day, night, or afternoon, and love and light to you.